subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos hey what's up youtube this is wasse here and today in this video i am going to show you how you can transfer your voice memos or voice recordings that you have recorded on your iphone to your windows pc or mac so the process will be quite simple and easy so let's start the video so before we can transfer our voice memos to our pc there's going to be an app that's needed so the app's name is adobe acrobat so if i open the app store and here i would type acrobat and if i search for it so here we have adobe acrobat reader so basically this app is a pdf reader it is not meant to send uh, voice files from the iphone to the windows pc but i have seen that we can use this app well for the purpose and it's all right if you can use this app for multiple purposes anyways you're going to need this app so you can download it uh, once you have downloaded you're going to open the files on your iphone here you will have icloud drive on my iphone recently deleted you're going to open on my iphone and here you should have this folder acrobat if you're going to open this the folder should be completely empty or it may have a user manual of adobe acrobat app anyways it doesn't matter so once you have downloaded acrobat and you got this folder on your iphone now we can transfer our voice memos from our iphone to our pc so i'm just going to open the voice memos app so here you can see i have one voice memo which is around 23 30 23 minutes and 33 seconds so i'm going to click on these three little dots on the left side and here these options should pop up so here you can see at the last it says save to files you're going to press on save to files now you're going to browse so maybe in your case it, sh it might show the list like this so all you have to do is to press on on my iphone and then you need to select acrobat after that you're going to press on save so once saved we're going to just double check whether the recording has been saved or not again the files on my iphone acrobat and you can see our audio or voice memo has been saved so now i'm going to connect my iphone to my pc and then we can just simply transfer it to our pc so here i have my usual iphone lightning connector cable i'm going to connect one side to my iphone and the other side will be connected to our pc and now let's just move towards our pc to transfer the voice memo file so now i have already connected my iphone to my pc so now i'm just simply going to open itunes so itunes is just a simple app to share files between your iphone and pc so most of you would have itunes if you're a regular iphone user if you don't have you can go to the apple's website and download itunes for free anyways once downloaded and once connected your iphone you should have this little phone icon above you're going to press on this phone icon and it should say your phone's name anyway it, all of its details you are going to scroll down where it says file sharing on the last you are going to press on file sharing and here on the apps you should it should show acrobat you are going to press on acrobat and inside acrobat it should show your voice memo file as you can see here is the one project.m4a so i'm just simply going to click drag and drop it on my desktop so it might take some time depending on the size of your file but it has done for me so if i right click on it and go to properties you can see its file uh, size is around 11.5 mb and let me just play it so you can see i can play it as well and its size is 23 30 to 23 minutes and 32 seconds that i transferred from the voice memo app to my iphone files and then now from my iphone to my windows pc and the process is same for macbook as well all you need to do is drag and drop the file from itunes to your desktop 
anyways guys in this way you can also transfer files just by simply dragging and dropping any audio file from your desktop to the acrobat folder and then you can use the file on your iphone as well so guys if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up if you have any kind of questions regarding this video write them in the comment section below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so i have already made a lot of videos regarding iphone features in the past as well and i will try to make some more iphone uh, features or you can say little hacks as well in the future other than that thank you for watching and stay safe